Hello and welcome to the sixth episode of CS Student Questions. So we are getting very good response for this interview series. Thanks a lot for your support. So in today's episode, we have, uh, let me ask him to introduce himself. Hello everyone, I'm Supreet. I'm pursuing with my graduation along with my CS executive course. Thank you very much for joining us, Supreet. So Supreet has chosen the topic today, which is company secretary student who is doing degree and CS course together what are the challenges and other things faced by them? Yes, Supreet. So my first question is, can a student manage both college as well as CS course at the same time? Yeah. So coming to this question, Supreet, what I feel is that, first of all, student who is doing degree and company secretary course, I have a lot of respect for them because degree is a full-time course and company secretary course is something you need a lot of study. So first thing, great that you're doing together. So when we ask, can we do it together? Definitely it's not easy, but you have to do the time management properly. So some things you have to compromise. For example, if your degree attendance is 75%, please don't attend more than 75%. Yes, because there are many students who don't even go to degree, they're doing directly CS. I'm not saying that is right or that is the only way to do. Some people do, it is right for them. But if you have chosen to do full-time degree with CS, that is your decision, that is perfectly good. But when you choose that decision, please make sure that you manage your time properly. If you have a regular study timetable, it is possible. But to be frank, yes, it is not very easy. But if you plan your time properly, if you are focused, definitely it's possible. Thank you, sir. Yes. My second question is, can we study common subjects like company law, FM, CMA, just like the way we study for degree exam and pass our CS course? Yeah. So when we talk about common subjects, the first thing you should know is that in our CS, the subjects are completely practical and also the subjects are make sure that you are going to practice a company secretary profession tomorrow. That might not be the case when we talk about degree subjects. So the basics will work, yes, the basics of a company law or financial management or cost management accounting which you study in degree, that basics will never change. But our CS course is more in-depth. So actually, if you study CS course very well, your degree becomes very easy. So you can study the basic concepts common, but when you study for degree, you're only studying based on old question papers and just to pass the exam. But in company secretary course, especially like company law or financial management, these subjects, tomorrow you'll be practically applying it. So you cannot have the same rule for both, though the subjects are uh, same in both the courses, the way you approach it should be much more in-depth in company secretary course. So you can do the basics, but not more than that. Thank you, sir. My third question is, how can we overcome the competition where many of the CAs are struggling to come overcome the competition in day-to-day -day life? Competition. Okay, Supreet, so, what I feel is that competition should be with yourself. You should really not compare with others. Okay. I know many people have told you this and even for uh, all my viewers over here, everybody telling don't compare with others, but this is really true. You have to always compare with yourself. You compete with yourself. Just be a little better than your previous uh, study session, be better than your previous exam. Once you do this, you will do well because end of the day, what is a company secretary exam? It is not like IAS exam, which is percentile. So percentile exam, what happens is they have a limited intake, bank exam, IAS exam. This is what we call as competitive exam. But company secretary course is a professional exam. So it is not degree, it is not competitive, it is professional exam. So in professional exam, competition really doesn't matter because if you get 50% overall aggregate, you passed company secretary course. But in percentile, suppose you want to be bank exam, or you want to take the IAS exam, you may have got 98, but you may still fail because if everybody else gets 99, their competition matters. So here competition doesn't matter. Please don't worry. Compete with yourself. Definitely you can do well. Thank you, sir. My fourth question is, any suggestion about the papers, pre uh, paper presentation of CS, CL? So Supreet, what happens is when we look at company secretary exam, presentation plays a key role, but please remember presentation is not everything. Okay. If you know the subject, you will present well. So again, I'm telling concentrate 80% of the time to know the subject well, then comes presentation. So there are many tips in presentation. It is difficult for me to tell one by one. So the very easy thing you can do is we have made a complete video and I will leave the uh, link of that video in the description below. So even you can 
uh, look at that video and there we have all the paper presentation strategies and students who followed it have done very well in exam. So all of you and yourself Supreet can definitely follow these tips and it is going to be very useful for you. Thank you sir. Yes. My fifth question is any advice about the time management for the college students who are pursuing CS along with their degree? Time management is a big problem today for everyone whether you are working, whether you are at home, whether you are student. No matter what everybody says, we don't have time. And that is the truth of today's generation. We can't help that. But how do you manage the time? So the first thing I think is you have to try and get up early. I know it is not easy, especially at the degree level. In the night, you're watching a movie or playing uh, something with your friends or chatting with someone. All that is there. But please try to get up early. Yes, try to get up at least half an hour early than uh, you, what you used to do. That is one thing you can do. And apart from that, please keep a timetable and a study, study schedule and study whenever possible. Even if you are traveling in bus or any other public transport, you just listen to the audio or you watch the video classes. Or when you are in college and you, if it is possible for you in break time or any time, you can study a little bit. So you must have um, different study sessions which are 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. That time you would have studied 2 to 3 hours without your knowledge. Then at home, when you go back, you can again study two hours or three hours. So overall, you study five hours. So this is one way. There are many ways you can do. In fact, we have one video by Raksha who has made a very detailed study schedule. That is, if you are studying full time, you can modify it according to your needs. She has made it 12 to 13 hours. You can make it three to four hours. So this is how you can manage your time. Thank you, sir. And my last question is, any suggestions to the students who fail in their first attempt of CS examination while they are stuck between management of degree exams and CS exams? So, first thing is you should not be worried about failing. See, this company secretary course, I have told you many times that it is a journey. It is a long journey. It is not something suddenly that will happen to you. So, whether you fail first attempt or second attempt or even if you pass first attempt, that should not change who you are. So, I feel failure is actually making you better prepared for next attempt. So, second attempt, you will be better prepared. You will not have to study from zero. You already know 60 to 70 percent. Last 20 to 30 percent you have to study if you are in second attempt. So, it is common to get disheartened because from uh, nursery level, LKG level, first standard we never failed. Correct? We finished even 12th standard and then we went to degree there also we never failed. So, this CS sometimes you may not pass first attempt. If you prepare well, if you follow most of the things what we tell, you can pass. Definitely there are many people who have done it. But if you can't, that should not be a big problem because when you look at your entire career, 30-40 years, failing one attempt is not a big thing. In fact, it will add your knowledge. Next time you can do well. So, don't worry. Just calculate that CS is a journey, 3 to 5 years journey. And within that, you will do it. If you keep that in mind, you will not be worried at all. Thank you, sir. So, Supreet, you have asked very good questions on the topic of a student who is doing degree and company secretary course. Your questions were very, very good and I am sure it has helped lot of our viewers who are also in the similar position of doing degree that is BCom or BBA along with company secretary course. So, I hope in this episode you learned that it is not impossible to do CS and degree together. It is definitely possible. And thanks again for joining us, Supreet. Thank you. And please make sure that you watch all our episodes of our series which we are doing, that is CS Student Questions. We already have many more episodes lined up and we need your support for it. And for more such videos, subscribe to Excel Academy, your one-stop solution for the CS course.